Hi there, welcome to Kali and the Gardener. We have a lovely chicken series going on about this awesome coop, all the features that have made us so successful with it for the past three years. And this year we introduced our new pullets in. So we have a flock of 14 girls that are doing really well together. So make sure you hit subscribe, watch our other videos. But this video today is gonna be about what we grow around the coop to make it so successful. Our girls don't get to free range because we have so many predators in the area. We live really close to the Columbia River in central Washington and we have lots of flying birds, hawks, eagles, as well as raccoons and all sorts of things that enter our lawn at different times. So we keep them inside this enclosed run and we supplement their diet of course from the garden when we can but I grow a garden around it and I just want to show you ideas and things that you can do around your chicken coop that will not only add beauty but it also helps tremendously with pests with smells and it just is an all-around win for your garden space people will be in awe of it as you can see right now we are in our end part of our garden our north end part and we grow a lot of herbs on this area as well as wrapping around some of the herbs that we grow my 11 year old brooks helped us to research and decide what to grow what would work best for the chickens for their health as well as what they can eat because there are certain plants that can be poisonous to chickens so right now we're growing lemon verbena bee balm different types of mint and they grow up really tall create beautiful flowers and beautiful smells. If you were near this chicken coop right now, you would not even know you were because it smells super herbally like mint and verbena. It's really awesome to just come up and reach around. But the other reason why we grow these things are every day when we come out to throw out some scratch, some mealyworms, we just break off a little piece of these greens and throw it inside as well to help supplement. And herbs are perennials. They really tend to grow back very quickly. And so it just requires a quick cleanup. I have a video of that in early spring, putting some compost down. I don't fertilize this area. And then things just come right back, heavy as they were a year before. This is a great treat for the chickens and these herbs are super hardy so they'll go right up until frost when other things in the garden might be dying out. So let's continue our tour around. We have some lovely mint here. I'm growing chocolate mint around our garden space and mint normally grows crazy when you plant it in the ground and it can take over a garden space but we love growing it around our chickens because it really tends to keep insects at a minimum it will keep flies at a minimum so when you're out here you really don't feel that pressure of flies buzzing around you but it also adds to our nesting box area and the inside of the coop we sprinkle it around the leaves dry out and it makes it smell like peppermint city in there it keeps it really nice and fresh for us so we'll come out and we'll dehydrate some of these herbs and then use them in the winter as needed a lot of people buy herbs to add to their nesting boxes or their litter that they put down at the bottom their wood chips but you don't need to buy expensive herbs that come in little bags. You can dehydrate them for yourself and you don't really need to dehydrate them in the summer. You just simply throw them in and they make things smell just lovely. So roses also, something that is edible for chickens, but we just thought they were a beautiful addition. Keep coming with me. We've got some sunflowers going on in this end. Keep coming. I love color the contrast with the gray chicken coop. It just looks so beautiful. So we are just growing more roses here. And as we come around, last year we were really lucky. We had some jack-o'-lanterns we threw in, the chickens ate them. And then we had some volunteer pumpkins start growing. So this year we decided to make it less than an accident and more purposeful. The area around the chicken coop is Full of their compost. We also add our compost back to this so that they can spread it around and give nutrition to these plants. So it's super healthy area for plants to grow is what I found. So come with me. Look, you can see it's crazy. We even added an arch this year just to give us something to walk through.
Come with me just a little bit more. Ah. Okay, we are on the west side of the chicken coop. And it's very intentional that we are on the west side because we get the greatest amount of sun on our chicken coop on the west side. The days are really long here during the summer and these sunflowers provide excellent shade. The thing I love about growing things around a chicken coop when you're using herbs or sunflowers, it's a set it and forget it sort of deal. So once we planted the sunflowers here, they tend to recede year after year. There's very little I have to do aside from just removing the debris in the fall and then coming back, putting some compost down, letting those seeds that fell grow again. But also, not only are these sunflowers providing beautiful shade, they provide supplemental food to the chickens. We'll harvest the heads, throw them in there, and then they've got sunflower seeds that they can scratch and eat on their own and make the most of. So we're really using the perimeter of this coop not only to be functional, but also to make it beautiful. All right, keep watching for more ideas. <laughs>